Three things, three rules right now. Number one, we got to make sure that we have good oh, tunes. The other thing is when we're bubbling it in, we want to make sure we stay within the line. Let's do the best we can. Stay in the circle. We're doing five through twenty. Five through twenty. How much time? Random. Okay. okay oh, random. Good. I don't want to see a straight line of answers. Okay. Ready? One, two, three, go. Don't worry about it. Oh, no. Oh, well, I don't do that. I go around like this. Now, it all depends on what's comfortable for you. Okay, you can try that Five method. Uh, you can go, you can go counterclockwise, yes. clockwise. The main thing is you want to stay within the line. Okay, stay within the line. Now, the reason we're making you practice this so much is because we all know that you're smart. But the last thing we want to happen is you take the test and you don't pass because you didn't bubble it correctly. Okay? And what are we looking out for? What do I call those questions? They're called what? Brain, brain shakers. shakers. Brain shakers, man. You gotta stay away from brain shakers, okay? It's not that you're not smart enough to do them, it's that they're put in there as a trick. You ever play like a video game and you get to a level and it's like everything's going good in the video game, and then you come across this part where I was like, what? I've been on this part for three days. Okay? No, you don't have three days for this test, okay? You've got 72 questions, 38 seconds per question, okay? We gotta get in and get out with the highest possible score. Okay? And that's about knowing what questions to answer and what questions not to answer, okay? Now remember, there's five, we're gonna call them brain shakers, but I like to call them landmines. There's five landmines here. Anytime you come across a landmine, you gotta jump over it and keep it going, okay? So let's try again. Boys, you go straight here, I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. The school that we're taking the test at is where? Travel. 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 227. Now, the idea is there's two rounds. You got a first round and you got a second round, okay? Michelle. Michelle, who knows what the address is? What do you got? 65th Street and 16th Avenue, okay? So on the day of the test, there are two rounds for the test. Okay, you got first round and you got second round. Basically, the first round starts at what time? Nine o'clock, okay? And that test should go from nine o'clock to about what time? 11.45. All right, the second round starts at about 11.45, and when you get there, the day of the test, they'll let you know when it ends, yeah. I have a question. You say it only takes 40, 44 to 45 minutes. Why is it 9 o'clock to 45? Well, because what they do is they get you in there, okay? They've got to have you fill out the bubble sheet. They've got to assign you your seats. They've got to make sure that everybody's where they need to be. So they just need time to set up. If it's 45 minutes, why is it so long? Okay, so here's the deal. The test is at shallow, 227, okay? Two rounds. There's a first round. And there's a second round. The first round starts at 9 o'clock, and that runs till about 11.45. So you're saying to yourself, if the test is 72 questions, and all you need is 44 to 45 minutes for the test, why two hours? Now, this test is very competitive. And you also got a lot of people coming out to take the test here. Now, on the day of the test, you're going to see that there are going to be some people that are early birds, and they get there way ahead of time. If the test starts at 9 o'clock, some people will be there at 8 o'clock. Okay, we advise you to be there between 8 and 8.30. Okay, because when you get there, you're going to see the line is going to wrap around the building. Uh, one of the reasons why they give you two hours is because they need time to set up. They're going to make sure you got the right seat assignment, student ID, that your name, first and last name are bubbled in correctly because it's very competitive. Remember, on that day, you're nobody but a number. Okay, that's why when we're talking about this bubbling in, it's so crucial because... They don't have the time to get to know who you are, what your first name is, what your last name is, who your mom and dad are. All they know is that this child is scheduled for the first round. They're supposed to sit in seat 27A, and they're supposed to be in room 337B. And at the, when the clock starts, the test begins. If you're not where you need to be, well, then you missed your opportunity. So that's why they give some extra time. The other thing is, on the day of the test, the night before, you don't want to be playing video games. You don't want to be doing no Facebooking. You don't want to be no playing nothing. The whole idea is the night before you want to prepare your bathroom, you want to prepare your breakfast so that when you wake up, you're ready to go. On that day, you must have breakfast, okay? Also, you want to check the weather the day before to see what type of conditions are going to be out there because you are going to be standing outside for a little bit, okay? So you want to wear the proper clothing. 
have a good breakfast, get there between 8 and 8.30, and we want to make sure we have our number two pencils. This is major, okay? Because the last thing you want to be thinking about is, did I forget something, okay? You don't want to wake up on the day of the test and be like, where's my coat? Uh, what am I going to eat? Do I have my pencil? Okay, because remember, everybody on that day is taking this very, very, very seriously because it's really, really competitive. All of you guys, believe it or not, are in competition with one another. Okay, the idea is you want to get the best possible score. So in order to do that, you got to make sure you have all the right things in place. Okay, so breakfast is number one. Having the right clothing is number two. Getting to the test on time is three. Number four is having your pencils ready. Okay, and number five is making sure you're sitting in the right seat in the right room when the test starts. Okay?